What's going on guys? How you doing today? Welcome back to another puzzle solve. Before I get into this week's puzzle, obviously we're gonna announce the winners of the contest that we held last week. So thank you to everybody who participated. Uh, there are only gonna be three winners. Those three winners have been chosen and I've left their names in the description below. The winners have already been contacted by email as well. So congratulations to you three if you did not receive an email. Uh, chances are you didn't win, but don't fret because there will be more contests on this channel. Stay tuned to this channel, stay subscribed and stay notified. We'll get you some more chances to win. But today, ladies and gentlemen, today we're tackling this wonderfully beautiful level nine puzzle. This puzzle is made of wood and acrylic, uh, handcrafted by Jean-Claude Constantine, and uh, they're never easy. This one is no exception. This puzzle is known as the Viking puzzle. It is a sequential puzzle where, kind of like the puzzle I did on the live stream, where you gotta slide out that one piece by moving parts left to right, and using gravity and all that, and moving these little ball bearings around, uh, should prove difficult. And what's great about this puzzle as well, it's also a lockbox. So this is some, this kind of acts like a keepsake where you can store stuff in maybe a time capsule or maybe just you know a place to put your paraphernalia whatever you want uh, is up to you so enough talking let's start solving I got my little my little buddy here to solve or not to solve that is the question this is a cool thing I picked up at a once at a thrift store believe it or not for like 10 bucks this is hand carved out of a single piece of wood look at that just like the anatomy even like inside the nose you can see that little I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I thought this was a really cool piece. You guys should see. All right, enough of that. This is known as the Viking puzzle. And also another thing I noticed is that this wood that goes all the way around is one piece. It looks like, yeah, this is, this is one piece. And it was like, I guess, laser etched in a way that you can fold and bend the corner. So the craftsmanship is really, really nice on this puzzle. It looks cool. It looks like one of those really complicated ones. <laughs> Much like the live stream I put on recently, it is to slide out this puzzle. So this is like a sequential puzzle where you have to use these little levers and shift around these pieces. So you free this upper piece and then you retract it. But what's really cool about this is you, uh, as I mentioned, you have like a lock box. So you, you can put stuff inside. So let's, uh, let's get into try and solving this puzzle. So the moving parts here are as follows. We have these moving parts. Uh, these are like the wheels. Obviously up here, you see these notches. If this is like that, I can't slide this piece out because it stops it. So all of these wheel pieces have to be well out of the way, hold on, so that uh, this piece can slide out. So that's the, that's the whole aim is to move these four out of the way out of these grooves so that can slide out. Uh, you also have this little thing. So this locks uh, this wheel and this wheel. So one or the other is going to be locked. And then you also have this mechanism on the bottom, which doesn't, I can't show you right now, but this little bead that's there, you got these two holes. And if I slide this way, it blocks this hole. And if I slide this way, it blocks this hole. So all in all, like three moving parts, uh, which makes for an interesting combination. So usually with these things, there's like some type of, some type of pattern. Oh, because that ball's in there. Oh, I see, okay. So I gotta free this little ball so I can move that one, so I can unstick this one. To do that, I guess the easiest way would be... Would be going here. block out that little one. Sorry about that, getting off screen here. I had to move this ball up so I can block the bottom one here. Now that that is done. This one should be able to move freely. It's a bit stuck right now. There we go. There's a lot of moving parts here, so it does get a bit complicated. Not gonna, not gonna lie about that.
All right, so I got this piece over here. I think that's important. <laughs> now this one's free, is it? Is it really though? Yeah, I've got three of them free right now. I need, need to free this one here. For me to do that, I have to clear both of those things. So I think we start back at the beginning and go here. We go here, we go here, drop that ball down. So I can do this, bring that back, go here. Put that there, go here, drop this. So I've got to get this one rotated like this. That's the whole idea here. Wait, did I just solve it? <laughs> hey. I literally, okay, I was about two seconds away from being like, I need a 10 minute break here. But uh, I was deep in deep concentration, as you can tell. And uh, that's the piece that had to be removed. There it is. How much time did that take me? Uh, just about up and around 20 minutes. Not too bad. And in here, this is really cool. You got all the moving parts in here. Check this out. So this is the whole brains of the operation here. This is it. I mean, pretty crazy. <laughs> Look at that. How does someone come up with all this, right? One day I will find out. One day we'll interview one of these puzzle makers and I will find out exactly what goes on in their crazy minds. I imagine them to live in a place where like, you know, like a beautiful mind where you like, his room just is filled with like pictures and like strings and pins everywhere. And that's kind of what I imagine these guys uh, to be living in. So this is the little keepsake box that you can put your stuff in, kind of cool. You can just hide something in there. Obviously, uh, they'll know what it is, <laughs> but jewelry box, maybe something like that. But really cool, nonetheless. And I will spend the next 20 minutes off camera doing the exact same thing I just did but opposite, the other side. There you go, the Viking puzzle. Uh, all right guys, that was it for the puzzle bit. I, I honestly knew I was gonna solve it. I didn't, I didn't feel like I wasn't gonna solve it just because I had done the six bottle puzzle before. If you guys wanna check out that live stream that I had where I solve a similar puzzle, you can, without any cuts, it's an hour long. It, Took me an hour to solve, but it's kind of felt, it was kind of like that. So it took me up in around 20 minutes, which isn't super difficult, but a lot of fun nonetheless. Looks good on the shelf. Really stellar quality, fun puzzle to do. I like these puzzles. I like these little sequential puzzles. You gotta move and shift stuff around. Uh, if you're into dropping things, go ahead and drop a like. I would appreciate it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Hit the notification button for more of these videos. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.